This is part 30 of JavaScript tutorial. In this video, we'll discuss recursive functions in JavaScript. Recursion is a programming concept that's applicable to all programming languages, including JavaScript. So what's a recursive function? Recursive function is a function that calls itself. When writing recursive functions, there must be a definite break condition. Otherwise, we risk creating infinite loops. Let's look at an example. Let's first say how to compute the factorial of a given number without using recursion. So let's create a function. Let's name it factorial. Now we want to be able to compute the factorial of a given number. So let's include a parameter to this function. Now, if n is equal to 0 or n is equal to 1, then we want to return 1 because factorial of 0 and factorial of 1 is 1. On the other hand, if n is not 0 or not equal to 1, then let's create a variable. Let's name it result and let's initialize this variable with the value that is present in the parameter. And let's use a while loop here while n is greater than 1. Result equals result into n minus 1. And then let's set n equals n minus 1. And then finally return whatever is present in this result variable. And let's call our factorial function now. And let's pass 5 as the value for n. So we want to compute the factorial of number 5. Factorial of 5 is 5 into 4 into 3 into 2 into 1, which is 120. And we want to write that value to the document object. So let's pass the return value to the write function of the document object. So when we run this, we should get 120. Now let's see what's actually happening here. Let's open a notepad. So when we pass 5 to this function, n is equal to 5. Is 5 equal to 0 or 5 equal to 1? That is false, so it doesn't come inside. It comes here, and then it is initializing result with the value of n. So at this point, result will also be equal to 5. So it comes here and checks, is 5 greater than 1? That is true, so it comes inside the while loop. And then on the first iteration of the loop, so result equals result into n minus 1. At the moment, we have got 5 in result variable. So 5 into 5 minus 1, that is 5 into 4, is 20. Result equal to 20, and n will become n minus 1. So that is 5 minus 1, 4. So on the first iteration of the loop, those are the values. On the second iteration of the loop, is 4 greater than 1, true, that comes inside, and result is 20, 20 into n is 4, so 4 minus 1 is 3. 20 into 3 is 60, so result will become 60, and n will become 3. On the third iteration, n will become 2, and result will become 60 into 3 minus 1 is 2, so 120. And then is 2 greater than 1? That is true, so it comes inside. Result is 120, and n is 2. So 120 into 2 minus 1. That is 120 into 1 is 1. So on the final iteration, result will be 120. n will become n minus 1. That is 2 minus 1 is 1. So is 1 greater than 1? That is false. So it comes out of the while loop and then it returns whatever value that is present in the result variable. And at the moment we have got 120. So that's what get returned. And we are writing that to the document object. And as expected, it prints 120. So here we are not using recursion. So what is a recursive function? Recursive function is a function that calls itself. So let's see how to use recursion to compute the factorial of a number. So I'm going to get rid of all of this code. So a recursive function is a function that calls itself return n, that is whatever value you are passing to this function, n into factorial of n minus 1. So basically here we are calling the same function over and over and over until n becomes 0 or n becomes 1. 
okay the moment n becomes 1 you know it returns 1 from this function but until then it's going to call you know the same function so 5 into 4 into 3 into 2 into you know at last when n becomes 1 that's when 1 will be returned but then by that time we have multiplied 5 into 4 into 3 into 2 okay so the factorial of 5 is going to be 120 and here since this function is calling itself it's a recursive function and 5 factorial is 120 so this is the same example that we have just seen thank you for listening and have a great day